Today, my friends, I got one of the coolest tools on the market, over 500,000 views on my TikTok video for this. Not only will the guys love this thing, but the women are gonna think it's real nice-like as well. So just like every other comment section on TikTok, I had a lot of questions, I had a lot of concerns, I had a lot of anger. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you're gonna have all the information you need to know before you decide if you're gonna buy this or not. FYI, I think this is available. I'll put it in the link in the shopping bag on this video. If not, I'll definitely have something in the description below. All right, so what do we got going on right now? What is this new tool? Well, this is like a two in one. It is the new Ryobi, not Ryobi, Speed Bench. Now, before we start getting into all the specs and all the gadgets and all that stuff, let me show you why they call it the Speed Bench. Because I just turned it into a bench really fast. All right, so let me bring this thing back up and I'll show you exactly what happened. So when you first look at this thing, you're saying, well, this is a dolly. Now, some people don't call them dollies. They call them hand carts or hand trucks. Unless this thing got a V8 in it, I ain't calling it no truck. Why do I like V8s, you ask? Because I'm a man. We'll get to the hand truck here in a bit. Now, one of the other comments that I was getting, which makes no sense to me, they were very upset because they said this was the rigid miter saw stand just reconfigured. Firstly, you're probably right, sort of the same company. Number two, why, why are people getting so upset about that? You mad, bro? Now, this might be the rigid miter saw stand. Not really sure, I don't have one. However, they did do some upgrades, even if it was. First off, you can clearly see that they added this three quarter inch laminate work tabletop. And the other thing that they added was, well, the dolly or the cart or the hand truck. Now there were concerns on this. I'll talk about that here as well. Now, if you were to use this as a hand cart truck dolly, some of the comments were concerned about the wheels being too thin. So these wheels, the width about two and a quarter right here. They sit up about nine and three quarters of an inch. I've had hand carts, dollies, hand trucks with wheels way smaller than that. A lot of them stated that they would be concerned that this would sink down into soft or muddy grass, dark soil. Unless you got some 35 inch mudders on your hand cart, dolly, hand truck, cart. I think you're gonna have that issue no matter what. However, yeah, I, I guess. So let me show you how easy this is. There's like a little, bracket you push down on this you can see it locks in on that pin right there but all i got to do is push down and then lift up on this and it basically just opens up if however i wanted to close this back up again i do the same thing just push down on that and lift up and that's how quick it is and just sort of kick that in now the other issue some people had was the actual shelving right here for your hand truck cart dolly they were worried about you busting your ankles on this thing. And that was one of my concerns as well. And two, I seen this. So you can see how this thing sort of sticks out. So if I'm walking around this thing, I'm working, boom, boom, I hit myself in the shin. Well, that ain't gonna be real nice like, but. So to prevent me from busting my shin, you have a knob here or a bolt, a fastener, whatever you wanna call it. You just loosen these up. This will come out. Now, let me show you. You just pop them off like so, and you just take this and pull that out. Now you got your legs sitting right there. You don't have to worry about busting your shins on this thing. Oh, and just an FYI, this thing is solid. I mean, you got the still tubing going up around here. You got this rat, which is about a little over an eighth of an inch. But this thing is pretty heavy freaking duty. And if I want to put this back on, all I got to do is ease a peasy, line up those holes, throw in my bolts again. All right, so what about the tabletop itself? People wanted to know how thick it was, if it was sturdy, and if it would support a router. So basically, this is laminate. It's about three quarters of an inch thick. Looks like one of your butcher blocks. Looks really, really freaking nice. Got a giant Ryobi, not Ryobi logo up on top, and you got all of your markings for your measurements. Now, for the markings themselves, they're not etched, they're painted on. Now, basically, you have your measurements going the entire way around this table, even on the back right now. Now, I do wanna let you know one thing, when this thing showed up, did have a little bit of damage right up on top, some scratches, not a big deal. That was a nice little ding right there. So that definitely happened during shipping. I mean, it's not gonna prevent this thing from being able to be used or anything. It's just kind of a bummer. You don't wanna see your new tools damaged by shipping. Okay, but what about some of the other uses that were brought up during the TikTok video comment saga? I was surprised with how many women were actually talking about what they could use this for. You could tailgate with it, you can bring it out to a cookout, you can sew on it, you can do a yard sale and put your cash register up here or whatever you're gonna do. So many uses. However, the number one comment that I had was, could you put a router in this and use this as a router table? 
I wouldn't. I get it. I know what a lot of people want to do, and I think that would be awesome. You definitely have the clearance to put the router up underneath. You could just cut it out right here, and you put your router, drop it down in here, maybe like a Craig or something, and then just run this as a router table. However, with this thing only being about three quarters of an inch thick, it's just not going to be strong enough. It's, I think it's like three eighths just for the Craig to drop in there. It's just not going to work. Maybe if you supported it underneath somehow, you could probably get away with it. You'd have to modify it a little bit, but then I wouldn't be sure if that wouldn't mess with how this thing folds up and all that good stuff. So in my honest opinion, unfortunately it's a bummer, but I would say no, you couldn't use this as a router table. However, one of the things that I thought was really cool that they did on this unit was they incorporated their link system, their storage system. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So in the box, what you're gonna get is two strips. You just screw them towards the end right here. You can see there's just two screws in each one. This is part of the link storage system from Ryobi. Now it also will come with this organizer bin right here. Now there's a couple of really cool things you can do with this. This is what I love. So a lot of people aren't doing this with their storage systems, but Ryobi is integrating it in with their other tools. So I can bring that over here. I can bring this over here. On the inside, you have a divider. You can throw your screws, your bolts or whatever. Now, a couple other people mentioned that they would end up forgetting, they would flip this thing up and all your screws and your bolts and everything would go flying. And I get that. Easy solution though, just get a rare earth magnet or two, glue them in there. A lot of them come with the sticky backing. Just put those in a couple different areas and now you won't have to worry about your metal screws going flying everywhere. I'm sorry, I can't help you with stainless. So I know what you're saying. You're saying to yourself, Clint, that's pretty real nice like with the storage bins and all, but what about this? This is a Ryobi vacuum right here. And you can see on the back, it is link compatible with those slots. So now all I have to do is take my vacuum and put it on like so. <laughs> That's my vacuum. Now you could have put it on the edge like we just did, or you could just throw it right in the middle like so. You know, but if you wanted to move it over further, you could have one more attachment that can go on there like a light or something. And now if I'm using a view slice and dice and I got some dustage from the woodage, yeah, is clean up, that's it. And that's why I love the Ryobi. Ryobi doesn't have anything like this, but Ryobi, they come out with really cool things all the time. Now, as far as it goes to putting this thing together, there is some assembly acquired. Pretty simple to do. The construction is a little confusing, but you'll get past it. As far as it goes with it being sturdy, yes, this thing is built very, very well. I think it looks really cool. I think you got a million and one uses for this thing. You could just do whatever you want. It's very portable, folds down, you throw it in the back of the truck or the SUV, take it with you camping, whatever. Does it work well being a two-in-one? Usually these types of tools don't do a good job. You know, it's either good at one thing or the other. This is good at both. You're putting this as a table, you're using it as a dolly, hand cart, hand truck, or whatever. It's gonna work out really good for you. As for this being a reconditioned, rigid miter saw stand, who cares? And I love the fact that they're including the Ryobi link system into this. I think it makes this thing very, very useful, very simple to use when you have your vacuum attached to it through a light, a radio, whatever you're doing. I think that's real nice like. Now there were a couple other comments about the price. This thing runs about $200, which if you ask me for everything you get, that is not a bad price at all. Imagine painting this thing red, you're looking about triple the cost. Now, if this isn't for you, it isn't for you. However, I think a lot of people will love this. I think that there are so many people out on the market. You don't have to be in construction. You don't have to be in, you don't have to be in woodworking, whatever. There's a million uses for this, whether you're a soccer mom, a soccer dad, construction guy, construction gal, it doesn't matter. A lot of people are really gonna like this. And I think it's gonna be coming in handy for a lot of people. But of course, I wanna know what you think. How do you think Ryobi did? Is it real nice like? Is this something that you think that you could use or not? I love hearing that sweet, sweet comment feedback in the comment section below. As long as it ain't angry. Cause angry ain't real nice like. Check out this video right here. I think you're gonna like it. Back more videos soon.